Here's an inside secret I hear at Fox Business. Did you know Fox Business anchors also are Hollywood stunt women on the side? I'm kidding. That's our own Liz Clayman. She's at the world's largest electronic gadget show. It's a consumer electronics show now in Vegas. She was on this virtual reality gizmo all day. I needed a Dramamine to watch her. I was so nervous watching her. It's a virtual reality machine that makes you feel like you're in an action movie. And let's get to Liz Clayman. She's in the middle of the action in Vegas. Liz, what are you trying now? I'm so nervous. <laughs> I, you know what? That that was not nerve wracking. Something that is nerve wracking here is the 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 robotic influx here at CES 2018. Robots are definitely taking over. The people who brought you the Segway, remember that? Well, they're now bringing you a personal robot. I want to introduce you to Lumo. You just turned his head because it goes from being a Segway to then a little personal robot. Okay, why do you need this? Well, think about the different types of applications, and I'm going to say hello to it right now. Hello, Lumo. Hi, CES. I'm ready to rock and roll. <laughs> How CES, I'm ready to rock and roll. I'm glad you are, because I'm getting pretty exhausted going over these uh, five football fields. But Lizzie, this can be used in everything from uh, factories, and it can do tests for security. It can test doors and do all kinds of things, and repetitive tasks. You can train it and customize it, and it just rolls along. But it can also be a segue where you can take it Go to a park, for example, and then it is, of course, very heavy because it's very heavy machinery. And then you can get off and play football, and it will follow you, and you can put your heavy backpack on it. Um, but when we talk about things like um, our invisible little friends, this is it, Liz. I'm getting a little, I'm getting a little worried here. There's too much robotic activity, robots, and artificial intelligence, and I think we just need to make sure we keep our humanity. But this seems to work certainly for um, people who want to have things that are, can repeat, do repetitive types of experiences, but I'm going to have Alex here. He's going to jump on, and he's going to ride away on this, uh, this thing. So go ahead and jump on it, and you can show the segue as it goes away. This is called Lumo. There it goes. It switched around. And live from CES 2018, we are signing out, Lizzie. We're going to have much more tomorrow. The first interview with Simon Seagars of Arm Holdings. We just talked to him. He says he does not want or expect a recall on those chips that have been affected by the meltdown and specter problem. Liz, signing out. Thank you, Liz.